Uh, we're now to our another tradition for Business Forward event where we launch our I Move My Business Forward campaign. Uh, this year it's themed on family business. And again, I'm very pleased to be uh, working on this campaign until May 2023 in collaboration with uh, PwC. I'm personally biased because I'm ex-PwC myself and I'm sure uh, being a leading professional services firm will be able to contribute a lot of uh, expert advice and knowledge uh, on best practices for family business. So I would like now to call upon the stage Ghaed Anedi, a Managing Editor for Business Forward. Uh, Ghaed is another alumna of the school and she's, managing, she's been managing Business Forward since 2020. And before that, she built extensive experience in communications and program management in the development assistance area. I also invite to the stage Dr. Randall Bidewi, Associate, Associate Professor of Management at the AC School of Business. Welcome, Dr. Randall. Dr. Bidewi has 19 years of experience uh, teaching in organizational development and expert um, incubation. She's also an alumna of the AC School of Business. Bidewi, I'm really happy to be joining you on this session. So listening to the very rich uh, conversations of the past two sessions, we see how our, our economy is going through a series of shock waves, some external, but mostly a lot of internal structural challenges. And uh, some research I came across actually suggests that family businesses are actually uh, generally um, better at weathering economic downturns. So Dr. Ronda, what uh, is the importance of family business as a pillar of the economy? Thank you, Reda. Um, first of all, I would like to welcome our esteemed uh, guests and colleagues, and it's really great to be back to our old campus here. And uh, definitely, yes, um, uh, family business is a main pillar for our economic growth and social development. Uh, family business from various sizes, small and medium enterprises to large organizations used to be a backbone for our uh, economy, for sure. Um, uh, family business generally reflect as well uh, SMEs that account for about 80% of Egypt's GDP. Uh, but unfortunately, only 30% can sustain to a second generation. Only 3% can sustain to a third generation, which is a very low percentage. And in fact, we have very limited research works related to family business. And that's why it's really very important to highlight the importance of family business generally. Uh, at AUC School of Business, actually, we used to collaborate since 2018 with uh, close academic partners to create a family business consortium in Arab region to uh, sustain and to develop family business in the region. And uh, we definitely aim as well to provide a unique opportunity to coordinate with uh, leading experts, academics, researchers, practitioners to share best practices regarding family business as well. Today, we launch our campaign, I Moved My Business Forward, Seen Family Business, and throughout the year, we have, we'll have a variety of activities and events, uh, webinars, roundtable discussions. For students, we'll have international as well family business case competition, adding to Family Business Research Day and Family Business International Conference. Great, I'm looking forward to all of that. So family businesses are uh, indeed an essential part of the private sector equation and inclusive uh, development. Um, but there is no magic formula that takes the family business from one level to the next and from one generation to the next. But there are definitely some common uh, issues, some uh, recurrent um, challenges and some good practices. So what are some of the issues that you'll be covering in the initiatives uh, you're leading this year? Actually, family business is a complex entity and this complexity actually is increasing with multiple generations. Uh, family business may uh, bring love, passion, commitment, but actually it can bring as well tension, unhealthy power dynamics and dysfunctional conflict. Uh, members of family business can share core values, same core values, but in fact can be uh, different regarding how to express those values or how to, to be practiced and to be expressed. Uh, so actually we have two key challenges here. One main challenge is related to transfer of ownership from one generation to another that requires really uh, a strategic succession planning. 
Another uh, main challenge is related to family business governance. And in fact, we don't have a, a good uh, family business governance that can be taken uh, as a copy-paste and be provided to, to all others. Actually, in fact, we should start uh, at the beginning for each family business to recognize its uniqueness and to develop accordingly a, a customized or tailor-made governance model that can fit it to ensure effective uh, operations for future generations. And these are main topics that we will for sure tackle throughout our campaign uh, next week. Great. So now uh, let's move on to talk about the campaign. I moved my business forward. It actually started in 2020 uh, as the business forward team we were working from home during lockdown. And we were wondering how businesses are coping with these new COVID challenges. And we observed that some businesses not only survived, but they were actually thriving and moving forward with innovative solutions and new products. And this is where the idea of the campaign was born. Uh, ever since we have a theme every year and the idea the campaign is designed to encourage businesses of all sizes to participate and contribute contribute to knowledge sharing by sharing their stories their trials and errors and learnings um, through business forward uh, previous themes as i mentioned were, were were business resilience during COVID, and then the post pandemic year it was about building back better and climate action and hence the theme was responsible business so this year, what are the campaign objectives? Uh, actually, along our enriched and constructive discussions today uh, regarding our Egyptian economy, uh, we launched our campaign for uh, basically two main objectives. The first objective is to shed the light on the importance of family business as a key pillar to support uh, our economy. Uh, our second objective is definitely, as you reflected already, that we want to share best practices, best family business models to reflect on perceived challenges or opportunities. So the, the point that we are going to invite family business from various uh, sizes, various industries to, show, to share their stories and models. And in parallel, we will highlight the latest advanced knowledge research works related to family business throughout our Family Business Research Day and uh, our Family Business International Conference. Great. So we can't wait to see the stories coming in with solid input and experience in order to share and benefit others. This will be taking place from today as we launch the campaign until May 2023. So what then happens in May? Uh, a jury of leading uh, expert, family business experts, will review and uh, select uh, uh, the most successful models of family business. And in parallel, uh, audience will be able to vote as well to select the most inspiring family business stories. Then we uh, will invite the successful cases to present their stories, business models, business, uh, the best practices uh, generally. And uh, we'll, they will be awarded for sure in our uh, closing ceremony in May 2023. Great. Thank you so much, Dr. Randa. We invite you to learn more about the campaign by scanning the code on the screen. And if you own or lead a family business, please do get in touch to contribute to the working knowledge. We leave you now with a short video about the campaign. Thank you.